Sometimes for us to get the shot we need, we have to change our lens. We have to get more in the frame, see further away, or just make it better looking. Each one of our lenses helps us accomplish something different. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the benefits of each of those lenses. Our first lens is the 18-135mm. Now this is a very versatile lens as you can see by the focal length. 18 being how wide it is, and 135 being the zoom. The next lens is the 55 to 250 millimeter. Now this is our longer lens, 250 being the zoom. Now we can get closer to subjects than we could have with the 18 to 135 millimeter. Now this is useful if there's something preventing us from getting closer to the subject. Also there's a very shallow depth of field. By pulling the camera back and zooming in, we can get that nice blur in the background, highlighting the subject. The 10 to 18 millimeter is our wide lens as you can tell by how low the numbers are on the focal length. Now this is helpful for landscape shots or if we need to get a lot of subjects in the shot at the same time. As you can see from the focal length, there's not a lot of zoom. Now the 50mm is a prime lens, which means it has a fixed focal length. And with an aperture of 1.8, it lets in a lot of light. That means I can shoot in lower light conditions, and also get a better depth of field. Because of the fixed focal length, that means I can't zoom in, so I have to push the camera in closer. To give you a better understanding of the lenses, I did some comparisons. Here's the 18-135mm and the 50mm. You see with the 50mm, there's more of shallow depth of field. In 18-135, there's hardly any. Now by using the trick with the 55-250mm, to you get sort of the same effect. But the 50 still lets in a lot more light, so you get a shallower depth of field. 